So we are going back to the Pangs Creek Killings. Last time I streamed, uh, I think I was playing this, but yeah, I, I really enjoy this game. So we're going to play it again. Whew. So this will be part two um, of this stream. Oh my gosh, I forgot. We ended on this chick. Which we don't know who that is. Okay, so for recap, uh, oh, she's she's gone now. Oh, okay. So for the recap, we're gonna go back in here. So we entered into this house, okay, right? And we learned a lot, quite a lot. So, we found, um, did you crouch? We found this. So we found that, uh, who was, ooh, I gotta get my notebook. My notebook of notes. Notebook. Because I remember the game told me to take notes. She's gotta find them. I already don't remember this guy's name. I think it's Andrew or something like that. Yeah, here we are. Okay. So this guy's name that's talking, that's the husband. Um, this is Andrew Reed. Daniel is his son. Uh, the wife, I think, is Dorothy. Because it's somebody that works full time for the mayor so yeah okay so he left this really om omnibus note uh it didn't finish it so that was weird and we were like i was like okay well let's keep going and so we went upstairs i forgot i can hold shift oh and when you get up here there's this on the floor. Like he was performing some ritual. And over here was we found his diary. Which started with Scott being a good kid. Uh, and this is Andrew writing all this. This is Andrew's diary. The husband. This is his place. Just for like clarifying. He wrote that Scott was a good kid, he was hardworking, took care of me when he was drunk, he was starting to like him, and then we skipped from May 12th to June 10th. So something happened between this to here. She go, He goes, did I see her again? How can that be? Why isn't the medication working anymore? Because we saw pill bottles in the bathroom. Um, and he, she, uh... And then Andrew wrote, he's as guilty as I am. And I wrote, like, who's he? Like, he, well, actually, no, I didn't write that down. No, I didn't. I actually missed that part. That is very important. Where is my pen? There we go. So somebody else is as guilty as Andrew is. So who is he is it Scott they so there's more than one who is they he cannot abandon me we are all in it together. They cannot abandon me. So, more than one? And then, we, we go from June to August. Ever since Scott asked me about her. So, Scott was involved. Okay. Scott, we're assuming. Scott was involved because he knew about it and if he knew about it maybe he was involved Scott involved question mark 
I've started to see Sophia again. I wrote down her name. So the girl that they, he was talking about, that he was seeing, was Sophia. And I'm guessing the girl that we saw outside, with the black hair and, and the black outfit, is Sophia. Why did he have to mention her? I need more pills. I think we're crazy. And then we go to August 29th, which is the last thing he wrote in his diary. Oh Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I realize it now. That's why I'm going crazy. I know that nothing I will do to bring her back. That's when I realized, okay, maybe him and whoever else, maybe it's Scott, maybe it's not, maybe it's more than one person. Maybe they did something, I don't know if it was accidental or intentional, but they killed Sophia. And that's why he's saying, I know that there's nothing that will bring her back. And that when he's like saying, please forgive us for what we have done, I'm thinking like maybe he got dragged into it and like he really didn't want to be a part of it. <gasps> I have a theory. What if? Because remember earlier in the first stream, I had said that Pastor Matthew, which is Scott's dad, who is the pastor in this game, I'm thinking that, well, it's Father Matthew. Father Matthew is the one that killed Sophia, and Andrew was there with him, and like, Father Matthew's like responsible for it. And maybe that's, like, why Scott also knows about it. Maybe he, like, helped try to figure out the situation. And, like, Scott's not, didn't directly kill her. Because I feel like this Andrew guy is, like, has way too much empathy. Didn't really want to be a part of this craziness. Didn't want anything to happen to this Sophia girl to begin with. Yeah, so we don't really know, but that's my theory. That Father Matthew has something to do with it. I'm gonna write that down. Father Matthew involved, question mark. Because I said in the last one that he gave me really bad vibes. Like, I just have this gut feeling about Father Matthew. That he has more to do with all of this than what he leads on to be. Because, yeah, here's all the pill bottles on the ground. So, alright, we're gonna, oh yeah, and then also, for anybody that didn't see this, she is coming for us. Yeah, when I first saw her walking out of here, I like tweaked out a little bit. Okay. So, we did that. What's in my inventory? Is that what it looked like? I, okay, so the thing is about this game is it doesn't directly tell you where you're supposed to go or what to do. So from here, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what to do now. Because everything is probably still going to be locked. I wonder if... Hmm. 
Yeah, here's Annie's courtyard and So we did this last time. Yeah, so we did this. And we went to uh Where is it? Yeah, so <sighs> That was Andrew's place. So we did that. We need to find keys for here. Oh, I didn't read this. Paints Creek Community Hospital closes its doors after 60 years of service. Fun embezzlement is suspected as key factor. Paints Creek Community Hospital, one of the leaders in long-term rehabilitation for the elderly in New Zealand, finally closes its doors. First opened in 1936. Vivian Roberts, a successful businesswoman, saw the need to revamp the hospital in the early 70s. She founded the Roberts Relief Foundation with the main purpose to support the needs of the village of Paints Creek. Sorry, with the hospital. By the 80s, the population of the village and local areas had started to decline rapidly. Many young people who went to college did not return. Come on, let me continue reading. So this was February 21st, 1996 when this was released. When did she die? When was she murdered? Yeah, when was she murdered? Uh, well, I can't read that. 1995. Okay, so we're going to the hospital next. Onwards we go. I don't know why there's creepy music in there. I don't get it. Okay. So we are here. The hospital's that way. So I need to go by the post office, so I think it's this way. Yeah. I think I just keep following along until you reach these two big ginormous doors. Yeah, these. Oh, that's so loud. Oh, my back hurts. I hate this chair. Love the creepy music. Okay. See, I already tried to come in here, but I just. I didn't finish. Nine thirty, Matthew Brooks. Visitor's name. Excuse me. <gasps> Matthew Brooks is Scott's dad, because Scott's last name is Brooks. He visited Trisha Roberts twice on two different occasions. Because for anybody who doesn't know or wasn't in my last stream, Trisha Roberts is sort of kind of Scott's girlfriend. And the whole main thing is that like Scott was taken into custody as the person that like 
was accused of being responsible for the murder of uh, Vivian because he somebody witnessed him and Vivian getting in a bad fight because Vivian doesn't approve or really like Scott. So, and he didn't approve of him being with Trisha. Oh, how the turntables have turned. Okay, so... Father Matthew... This is so interesting. He visited... Trisha. Two times. He visited nine thirty and ten nine. Six thirty and nine forty. Interesting. Okay, his address is 46 Silver Lake Boulevard. Silver Lake Boulevard. Father Matthew Yolanda Harris didn't I write about her? Why does that sound familiar? Okay. Onwards we go. Oh wait, there's more. He felt again. Also, I'm gonna make sure there's nobody else here that I like recognize. Ever it doesn't say who he visited. Is that important? That we don't know who he visited? Did they keep it anonymous? I'm writing that down though. It's a little sus. But he visited her three times. That is so bizarre. And then we have a uh, ever Evier Evier Seven Pebble Lane. Doesn't know like we don't know who he saw. It's weird. Alright, should I like go to all these houses? Probably not, they're probably all locked. Okay, I already have one of those. Can I go behind the desk? Can I read those? No. If Father Matthew forgets his key, place it under the flower pot next to the church. 
<laughs> Under the flower pot next to the church. Interesting. Okay. I'm nervous to creep into Father Matthew's history. That's gonna be interesting. Room 102. Wanda. I know Wanda. Trisha's in 203. Harold. Should I have, I'm probably gonna visit all these anyways. Okay, so... Actually, I might just take a picture on my phone. That might be easier instead of writing all that down. There we go. Uh, okay. Can I read that? No. Was anybody in room 101? No, but can you explore it still? No. I'd love a key for that. You love a dead silent room. It's really creepy that this place is abandoned. I feel like I'm gonna start seeing that girl around. I wonder why Sophia was killed. Like, why they killed her. This we really want to know. So creepy. The game that apparently this game's a little convoluted, so I'm just trying to thoroughly check. I would just hate to miss something important. This probably circles back around to the front, huh? Yeah. Why would that be open, though, if it wasn't important?
Oh, okay. Can I take that? Where's 102 though? I mean, this isn't really helpful because I can't take this with me. Oh, just kidding. Yes, I can. Interesting. Oh, need a handyman. Was it Scott one? Yeah. One, two, a few were missing. One, two, three. Well, how big are these? Uh, it would probably be one, two, three. Maybe three of them. I'm gonna take a picture of this. This is important. Okay. Henry Johnson. Staff pass. Ooh. I'll keep that. This is why you thoroughly look. I'm already so on edge. I'm literally shaking right now. Like, I'm literally shaking. Oh my god. Because the creepy music in the background, and then I saw that girl, the dead girl. Oh my god. This goes to show that I don't do well with horror games, even though this technically, like, isn't really a horror game. I mean, kind of. I don't really know why that shut off. Wait, did the electricity shut off as a whole? It did. Please tell me I'm not going to see her. Can I turn it back on? Or something? That's really bizarre. Anyways. Um... Where's room 10... whatever? 102? Let me go back to the map. 
Oh, I have the map. I literally almost crapped myself. Six. What's five? I'm like having tremors. Oh my god. Oh, it was right next to it? I just completely missed it? I did. Okay, hold on. Wait. That's the operating room, so it's down here. Yeah. Wait. Exam room A3. Patient room. Uh -huh. Still don't know where it is, though. Also, I'm keeping one ear off because I'm tweaking. Room 101? Yeah. So it's not room 101. Homie. No, it is patient room. 12. 13. That's the operating room. I don't... Get it, though. Yeah, that's the exam room. So that it that was the patient room. Yeah. So it's on the other side. Right? Yeah. Okay. So that's the that and then we have office here it is another diary that's channel five Derek visits me every day sometimes he snuggle smuggles the snacks that I like, knowing that I would never get them from the nurses. Other times he brings me flowers. They smell so wonderful. He knows that I love sense and sensibility. And he reads me a chapter or two every time he's here. If he doesn't have time to drive Charles for a few days. Okay, I remember Derek. And what this is uh, Wanda. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> He's such a good kid. Okay, so Derek's young. So we go in from November to December 2nd. My hair is falling off more now, so maybe she had cancer. Okay, chemotherapy. I really don't keep with her. Every time Derek visits me, it pains me to see him holding back from his tears. I want to comfort him, saying that I'm getting better, but my appearance betrays me. And September 16th, sometimes I wonder if my life had any meaning. Having mostly worked my whole life for the Roberts family, what will people say at my funeral? Will Derek think of me as a mother who was always there for him? I could have done so much more if only there was more time. So sad. That makes me sad. Okay. Who else do I need to go to? Now I'll go upstairs. Okay. Um. Not that there's anything in the bathrooms, but...
Room 208. Anybody in here? No. 206? Yes. Harold was in here. Is heaven real? You could jump. Dear Nicole, I was so glad when I got your letter. I'm sorry to... Why is there blood on this? Excuse me? Was he murdered? Because he, he didn't even finish writing number four. I'm so glad when I got your letter. I'm sorry to... And thank you... Letting me choose where we bury our time capsule. I have a few ideas in mind, and I want you to pick one for me. Playground, behind hunting cabin, cemetery. Okay, I'm going to take a picture of this. This seems very important. Don't know why there's blood on here. And we don't know what the fourth one is, so we'll just have to, I guess we'll find that out. Who is Nicole? I don't even know who that is. I don't even think I have a Nicole written down in my notes. Dear Hannah, I heard from my mom. Man? I heard from my... Mon? That you were... M O N? What does that mean? Mon? Whatever. That you are not feeling well and have to be in the hospital from now on. So I wrote this letter to say I am really sorry for what I said to you last time. I just wanted our time capsule to be perfect. When you get better, you can put anything you want in our time capsule and you can decide where we should bury it, I promise. I really hope you get well soon. I miss you. Please write back to me. P.S. You can pass your letter to my mom. She works in the hospital as a nurse. I'm gonna say Bob. This one. I guess. Okay. Yeah, so I might turn the power off, which is kind of sus, but whatever. Not creepy at all. Okay, next room number. 204. What is this? 205. Is anybody in here? No, but I'm still going to look at it. I keep thinking I'm going to like look out there and like see her. Interessante. Dying man's letter? Is this the guy that we were just... Yeah, we were just in his room. These last few months gave me time to reflect for quite some time. When one comes to the understanding that soon my body will be no more and I will return to Earth, the question arises of the purpose we fragile beings have in this life. How my soul yearns for those joyful moments with loved ones when I was ignorant of such incomprehensible matters. And now I sit here just waiting for death knowing that I will never have a second chance. If only I could express what I feel to my wife, kids, people I once called friends, maybe I could feel comfort. My body may be old to travel, but at least I can send something to them. A nurse has held 
make me a pair of a pack. Cheese. Uh, a nurse has helped me prepare a package to send. I'll see you to it personally, then it gets chopped off. Once my body feels better, the last effort of a sick old man. Interesting, interesting. Room 204. Sharon. Not allowed to go in your room for some reason. Or your room. Trisha's is 201. I'm terrified. I feel like there's gonna be a jump scare and I'm taking my headset off. Okay. I'm sorry guys. I just I got so tweaked out that I had to put my blanket over my face and take my headset off. Oh <laughs> that was a little scary. Oh, I did not like that. Oh hated that. I hated all of that. I don't know why they gave us their room numbers when we couldn't even go in there. Also, where does Wanda live? Please don't tell me that information was in the hospital because I really don't want to know. I don't want to go back in there. Because we have this. Am I just... That key doesn't go to her room, does it? I'm gonna Google before I walk all the way away from the hospital. What do you do with Wanda's key you found at the hospital? In Paines Creek 
killings. It just told me that it takes you about nine hours to beat this game. Girl! That's a lie. There is a hair on my phone. not telling me what I do with this key. I'll just figure it out later. Let's go to uh, Father Matthew's place. I think it's over here. Actually, I don't remember. Is it down here to the left? No, it's down here to the right. Right? Yeah. And then it's over here to the left. Yep. Underneath the flower bed. Flower pot? Now I'm really curious and I don't think that would be used at the hospital. Where's the flower bed? Or pot or whatever. Is it one of these? Please don't tell me that was there before and I completely missed it. Because I'm literally going to shoot myself in the face because I literally searched this entire place last time I was here. Like thoroughly searched. Or maybe it just doesn't pop up until after you. What do you mean I can't use that? Do I need to stand up and stare at it? Excuse me? Is it here that you got there? No? Oh, is one of his houses near here? I thought he lived here. Y'all, am I going crazy or is this game like bugging? Is this his house? You would think that this, the key, the cross shaped key, would work at the church. But the game's like bugging. Okay, you know what? I'm so, so, so sick of this. Uh, what do you do with...
Sorry guys, I'm really trying to figure this out. They're saying that I, there's so much stuff that I miss that it's saying that I didn't find in the hospital. Like I didn't find the medical records room, the key to the medical records room. It's saying that you're able to go into the room. You're you're able to go into Wanda's room. Oh, there's so much I missed at the hospital. Yo, what? What the freak? Oh my gosh, there's so much I missed. Barnacles, guys? Okay, so... Does this not give you access to the church? Like, does this key... I swear the use button wasn't highlighted. I'm not crazy. Whatever. You know what? I'm over it. Alright. Here we go into the creepy church. Deep, dark, creepy church. Not scared at all. Okay, I really, okay. I thought I thoroughly searched the hospital. I think since I got a little tweaked out, I like booked it out of there. Um, like a little too quickly because there was you know, obviously some um, lockers that I could open. There was obviously a bunch of patients' rooms that you could open, and apparently there's stuff that you could find. But I thought I thoroughly checked all the stuff, but there was nothing in there. Which makes me confused. I don't know if the game's bugging and they're supposed to be there, or I just didn't thoroughly look. But we'll go back after we search here. And I'm thoroughly looking in this church because I feel like Father Matthew has more to do with this than he leaves on church will be closed for the funeral of Andrew Reed so he died on the 19th there's Scott's thing Oliver's photography Taking a picture of the address.
Why is this in here? Oh yeah, so Andrew is the one we... He's the one that we visited. I showed y'all at the beginning of the stream. He had the one on the... His, um... Upstairs, he had a ritual... Sight thing going on. He's the one that wrote in his diary about the dead girl, Sophia. And that, like... He wishes he could bring her back. And we saw that dead girl. So he's, like, part... And he said there's more than one. Like, they abandoned me. So, um... I feel like Father Matthew is a part of it. Like, was a part of helping, I guess, kill Sophia, maybe? Maybe... Oh, maybe Andrew got to a point where he had too much of a guilty conscience and he wanted to come clean and, like, expose everything because he couldn't take it anymore and, like, couldn't hide the secret anymore. And so, um, so Father Matthew, like, killed him or something to, like, shut him up. He worked for the Roberts family. It's kind of interesting. Everybody works for the Roberts. Where am I recording all of that, by the way? Where are my notes? Where are my notes? I got genuinely- I genuinely want to know. <sighs> Journal. J. The. So dumb. I get some eerie feelings up in here. I do not feel good about this. Don't like that noise. Turn that right off. Sorry for yelling, guys. I am just on edge. I'm like pissed off that like I forgot I didn't get everything in the hospital. Like I thought I did. I thought I was thorough, but apparently not. Why is that locked? Can I use a key for the same key? Oh, it's already gone. Just kidding. Surf stars before I get out to the deep, dark, deep down, deep down. I'm guessing this is this was Scott's room. Interesting. So we need a code for that. 
don't know what that would be. Meeting Trisha on the 17th of September. When did Vivian die? Moving out on the 4th. This was 1993. I don't think Vivian died until 1994. Like a whole year later. Interesting. I'm gonna take a picture of that. That's good to know. Diary! 1985. Father Matthew picked me up from the orphanage today, so he's not his biological son. Scott was adopted by Father Matthew. Interesting. I wonder if, like, the code is like his adoption date, which would be four six eighty five. Four six eighty five. We can try that. I can call him dad if that's okay with me. On Monday he will bring me to sign something. He says that after the signing, my name is not just Scott, but Scott Brooks. I'm glad I now have a home. May 3rd. Father Matthew brought me to the attic today. There are many wooden toys. He made them all by himself. He asked me to choose one that I liked. I chose a toy plane. I'll do carpentry when I'm older. He even made a secret, secret space for me in my room. Secret space? So there's some. there's a secret space for him in his room. Maybe he hid stuff in there when he was older. I love Father Matthew. Okay, so Trisha and Scott go way back. Like 10 years ago back, like a decade. Like way before Vivian died. Nothing after that. Weird. Mm. There's that paper plane. The first one. May 3rd, 1985. Maybe that's it? Which would be... Zero f Well, it would be zero five. Would it? No. It would be five three... 85? Or 1985? Or 
so freaking smart, big brain girl. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. What the freak does that say? I don't even have my glasses on me. I don't know what that. Oh, is this turning. Oh, this mechanic. Lord. Let's meet our secret hideout. Go check. Goat. Yep, that's it. Code change to 8831. Trisha. Trisha. Oh, here's this OP diary. Okay, yeah, let's skip that. Age of 81. Okay, that was February, you know, here. Trish talks a lot to me recently. I feel comfortable. Blah, blah, blah. She makes me happy. In May, Father Matthew said he needed, told him he needed a goal. I wonder what Father Matthew's goal is. That's a great question, Scott. The 18th. It's been a few months since Derek got hired by Trish's dad. Wow. May 20th. There's a secret room in the mansion. I can't believe it. I can't wait until... Okay, so secret room in mansion. So this is four or five years before Vivian's murder. By the way, I do know one thing for sure about this game. It's that there is more than one murder. Like, a multitude of people were murdered. And I think it's by one person. But I don't know. I don't know who- that, that wasn't spoiled for me. Wait, wasn't there a secret place in Derek's room? I mean, not Derek, Scott's. Or maybe that was it. I'm not forgetting to check underneath things. That's probably why I've forgotten so much. Need a code. I don't know what that is. I wonder if it's the same as his, which was five three eight five. Probably not though. Dang. I believe Scott, I'm not gonna lie.
Okay, yeah. I was trying to remember if there was a storage room in here or not. I was like, wait. Can I examine this? Oh my gosh. Choir practice. This is October. Public baptism. Final court appearance. For Scott or or what? Oh, my bad. Okay, we're done with the stream. <laughs> That one's locked. And it just keeps on going. Sophia's. Like how she ties into all this. Oh, the confession corner! Where's the storage room again? Here. I gotta stare at it at the perfect angle. I'm scared. Interesting. It's locked. What does that say? Scott's things. <gasps> Open the car. Bad. We need to figure out how to open that. Alright, I think I found everything for now. As far as I knew. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I think we made a lot of progress. I definitely have to go back and check out the, uh, the hospital again because I miss a ton there because I just started to kind of tweak out because I was freaking out because the lights turned off and I thought I was going to see the girl I thought I was going to get jump scared so so I got the heck out of there but alright so what have we learned so far I mean so we know what happened to Andrew because we were curious to know like he stopped writing in his journal what happened to him he died. We don't know if he got murdered. I think he did. I think Matthew, Father Matthew, killed all these people. Because I, I just, I have this sick feeling that he did. And you see in all the horror movies and things like that, that, you know, the pastors always end up doing some really messed up things. So I just, I don't know. I just have this inkling that he's involved in this somehow and... Like I said earlier, I think my theory is that he's trying to shut some people up. Maybe there were some secret business, some secret things happening, and maybe that everybody, maybe Vivian was involved in the killing of Sophia, and he had to shut her up, so he killed her. Or maybe 
Matthew and Vivian had a, a secret affair. Or, or maybe Matthew and... I just have a big brain moment. I have a huge theory right now. What if... Because I've read this in a book before. Like, I've seen this time this type of theme before what if what if vivian because you you know how we just read that scott was adopted what if scott's real mom is vivian and that's why they're trying really hard to get vivian and Trisha not to date because they're half siblings. <gasps> what? Guys, what if that actually is true? I'm like, I'm correct on that. That would be some twist stuff. That would be some real twisted stuff. I ho that that would be crazy if I'm actually correct. Because so we got Trish and we got Scott. We got them falling in love, growing up together, and you know, this, that, and the other. And then we have this secret whatever going on with like Andrew and other people and like I think Father Matthew and then I think Vivian's involved in it somehow but I think Vivian and Father Matthew also have their own side beef going on and I think it's like to do with the fact that Scott is their son oh my gosh I could go down a rabbit hole with this with these series but yeah I just want to stop it right here for the, for today because I'm tired. And this, unfortunately, this type of game makes my brain think. It's a very thorough game. You have to be, like, on top of your game when it comes to this type of game. Puzzle game, to be exact. But a part of me kind of wishes, like, this game incorporated, like, maybe videotape, like, uh, videotape footage. Um, that would be really cool to make it a little bit more immersive, make the game come to life a little bit more. Because I feel like not seeing, like, any human beings in the game, it just makes it a little bit more kind of like, like I'm disconnected a little bit. So it'd be kind of nice to have a little bit more, like, having... Like, seeing that dead girl, Sophia, like, made the game a little bit more real. Like, because, for instance, I mean, I went to the hospital, and that's why I was so tweaked out, because I saw the girl, and I'm like, oh, well, if the game is putting the girl in it now, is she going to be, like, a reoccurring jump scare, you know? So it had made me on edge. So I just wish the game, like, maybe, ooh, like, it would be really cool if they did, like, if the, like, when the investigator picked up a, a particular item and it was a flashback of something, I would have, the player would have a flashback of that moment um, so that I could kind of gain a little bit more clarity on the situation or what's happening. But, because um, this game's a little bit convoluted. Like, you gotta be on top of your SHIT if, if, or you're just lost, or you don't have half of what you need. Because when I had that moment of pause and I was looking stuff up, I was like, there's so much that I missed at the hospital. And y'all saw me. I was as thorough as I thought I was, but apparently not. Oh, and my camera is fuzzy. Come back to me. Come here. Okay, there we go. But yeah. Like, I'm getting creepy vibes standing next to this church. <sighs> Father Matthew has way too much. He has, he has secrets, for sure. Alright, guys. Well. I'm going to save, and I'm going to quit. That was the Payne's Creek Killings Part 2. I 
thoroughly enjoyed hanging out with you guys today if anybody had joined this video will be up on my youtube the part two every single stream that i do uh well and if you miss it it'll be fully uploaded to my youtube channel um yeah so that'll be up on my youtube channel um all my links to my discord my tiktok my instagram youtube Yeah, I was going to say Twitch, but, like, it's just Twitch. But, yeah, so all my social media uh, links are in the About Me section, I think. No, it's in the Social section. But it's also in my bio, so, yeah, follow me on there if you want. Um, I try to put out content as much as I can. I'm also a full-time student in college, so I don't have, like, a ton of time, but I try to do what I can, but... Yeah, I think next stream I'll probably play uh, a different game. Might be Boulder's Gate. It might be Love and Deep Space. I haven't played that game in a minute and I need to get back into that and get some content on for that. But yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time.